Hey guys, this is Mr. A Quizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the 1991 film, Boys in the Hood. I recently watched Boys in the Hood on HBO Max, and so Boys in the Hood is directed by John Singleton, and stars Ice Cube, Morris Chestnut, and... and oh yeah, and Cuba Gooding Jr. as well, so... The story of, of Boys in the Hood goes like this. Like, Tree, who's played by Cuba Gooding Jr., Tree is sent to, to, to live with his father, F Furious Styles, in, in tough sa South Central Los Angeles. Although his hard-nosed father in, in, in instills proper values and, and, and respect in him, and, and, his, and his girlfriend Bra Brandy that teaches him a, about faith, Tr Tree's friends Doughboy and Ricky don't, don't have the same kind of support and are drawn into the neighbors being booming drug and, and gang culture with, with with an increasingly tragic results. So, like I said, I, I recently watched this film on HBO Max since I kind of felt like watching it. And I gotta say, this was actually a really good film. It was actually definitely a really, really fantastic and awesome film from 1995. 19, excuse me, 1991. Yeah, because I, I actually think this is actually one of the best films of 1991 besides some... Um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, because there was like a lot of these really cool films that came out in the early 90s, like 1991. And I gotta say, John Singleton does a great job directing this film. And it even has a pretty cool and emotional soundtrack when you think about it. It has it has a good soundtrack and, and good acting performances too, like, like Lawrence Fishburne, Cuba Gooding Jr., Ice Cube, Morris Chestnut, Regina King... And yeah, because, and even, <clears throat> I, I first heard about Boys in the Hood when I, when I was watching one of my favorite films called Be Kind Rewind. Like, in the movie Be Kind Rewind, the, the movie Boys in the Hood was actually sweeted in Be Kind Rewind. And during, during, during the, like, it was parodied in which the scene where, where Ricky was shot. Yeah, because, and, and that's, that, that's actually the part where, where I actually felt emotion to me, where I actually, I, I felt it really hard. Because it, because it got, because this movie, this movie gets very sad as well when you think about it, because, Cause it's like 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 the part where where Ricky Ricky ends up getting shot by a high a hired headman, like who's basically like you know when Ricky gets shot by 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 someone who was hired to kill Ricky, and 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 that's actually the part where I actually felt I actually felt my heart so so hard like I actually felt it very hard I felt emotion very hard, and yeah I know how that feels very sad. And even the music too, that 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 also gets to you as well, like the music, and yeah. But like I said, this this movie the this movie had had some very very good acting performances by Ice Cube and pro probably I, I will say I think Boys in the Hood I think is probably one of Ice Cube's best films he worked on besides Friday and Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, because because I I just love this movie now that now that I watched the whole thing. Uh, this this movie's definitely really good and definitely one of the best films of the early 90s. Yeah, so so overall, Boys in the Hood is, is an awesome and, and great film for 19, 1991 and I'm going to give Boys in the Hood 5 out of 5 stars. So, if you like these types of films, if you like dramas and if you if you're interested in checking out Boys in the Hood, then I say I I I say I give the I recommend this film. So there you have it, guys. That's gonna be it for my movie review on Boys in the Hood, and that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. Eight Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.